Hi everyone, I'm Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Marcus Bagway. Weather update here. Timing on this recording is at 2:10. We have a tornado watch in effect for eight counties in East Texas through 7 a.m. Wednesday morning. That does include the city of Tyler, city of Mineola in Wood County, Henderson, Van Zant, Rains, Hopkins, Franklin, Titus counties. Eight counties here in East Texas really are west northwest counties that are under this tornado watch. Uh, and that's because the conditions have increased for the favorability of some uh, some rotating thunderstorms that may move through. What we've seen here over the last few hours is really hasn't been anything too significant. A couple of brief showers coming through. Nothing of big concern here at the moment. But what we are watching are storms that are back inside of the Metroplex increasing. And what we're noticing here too is that we're starting to see some circulations begin to develop as the line is moving to the northeast. So that will be our area of concern as those storms perhaps move closer to us as we we get toward about say 3, 4, 5 a.m. on this Wednesday morning. The line extends farther back down to the southwest. It's still not that impressive, but the greatest area of wind shear and low level uh, instability is going to be located across the tornado watch, and that's why this watch is in effect. It is windy and warm. We are still in the 70s this morning. It is air you can wear outside, and the strong wind continues. Sustained wind out of the southerly direction, at least. There are components to maybe southwest and especially southeast, but mainly a south wind component, and that has our winds anywhere between about 10 to about 20 miles an hour, and wind gusts are upwards to about 30 to 40. 40 miles an hour at this point. Severe threats I still think are right on track. Wind gusts, isolated tornadoes remain a possibility. Hail, heavy rain cannot rule that out, uh, but we're not expecting anything that would produce flash flooding, but we could see some ponding on area roadways. So that's what the heavy rain threat is going to remain in the medium category. A look at future casts, our high resolution model. This is the KTK model more specifically. We are noticing as we get closer to 5 a.m., those storms are beginning to move in. The line of thunderstorms, that will be our primary concern here. That's going to promote mainly a damaging wind gust threat, but you cannot rule out a tornado that develops along the line. That's what we're seeing back toward portions of Tarrant County inside of the Metroplex as of about 210 to 215. As the line works its way to the east, the severe threat behind it begins to come to an end. It doesn't mean we still won't have some additional pockets of rain. Then the focus is going to turn toward our east areas. This is where we could see the potential of uh, some rotating storms, anything that forms out ahead of this main line, like that cell there in Nacogdoches, another one perhaps moving through portions of Toledo Bend. But as we get to the noon hour, the storm threat will finally come to a close and things will quiet down as we get into the afternoon period. The storm timing pretty much hasn't changed much either from what we shared with you a bit earlier. 4 to 7 a.m. in our west northwest county, 6 to 10 in areas of green, 9 to noon. Uh, the storms, though, should be exiting by noon or 1 o'clock in our far east counties. Well, hopefully you have our East Texas Storm Team app, and if you haven't yet, we would encourage you to download it. You want to have ways to get weather information, NOAA Weather Radio TV watching us on the air. Uh, east Texas Storm Team app, a great tool. Well, you can get custom weather alerts sent to your device. You can, of course, look at radar. The same future cast I just showed you, you're able to see that there as well. We're watching things closely for you as we go throughout the morning. Again, that tornado watch in effect for eight of our counties until 7 a.m. on this Wednesday. We will be watching the radar closely. If we get anything that develops, we'll definitely let you know, and we'll go on the air if necessary for any tornado warnings that we may see in East Texas.